Hi guys, welcome to the Saving Money Show with me, your host Sean. Again, we're outside, so I apologise for any background noise. Now, we're discussing Tesla and it, the S&P 500. Uh, I had some questions when I did my video on why I sold my Tesla shares. I said how perfect earnings was factored in and also them being included in the S&P 500. Now here's why it, it may not happen. Now we know uh, four criteria. The first one is it has to be an American based company. That's a check. Can't be Chinese or European based company. Second one is it has to be uh, uh, second one is it has to be a uh, company with a market cap of eight billion dollars. Now we know that sorry about that we know that uh, it's the twelfth biggest company in the world at the moment. Uh, now Basically, one of the sticking points is it has to have had four profitable quarters. Now, it just scraped by in the last quarter. There were some questions over its accounting methods and whether it's profitable or not, or whether it was break even. But they, the SEC accepted it. So it's classed as profitable. Now, analysts are expecting this quarter to be minus 14 cents, so to make a loss of 14 cents. Now, if they make, make a loss of 14 cents, remember Elon sent out an email saying the breaking even would be difficult, uh, then there won't be an inclusion at the moment. I'm not saying there won't be, it's just not at the moment. Now, if we look at the, uh, sorry, if we look at the fact that they may hit profit because we've seen all these Teslas stacked on top what if they actually sold them and delivered them you know no offense i've never seen teslas stacked on top of one another in the past i thought they were all made to order you know there was a backlog of orders so if they had delivered them if they had to uh, be profitable then would they be included if they hit all four of these targets no pure and simple you don't get automatic inclusion not because you hit these targets if you look deep into the S&P 500 you will see that a company has to a company has to hit these four criteria to get into the algorithm and don't forget to hit that lovely like button almost as lovely as me helps with the youtube algorithm and getting the video out to more people and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already become part of the saving money show family we give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show as well as that you can ask me to look into any share you want and I don't charge a discord fee or ask for a patreon all I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button uh, even if you disagree with me especially if you disagree with me I like a debate and if I do something wrong I want you to call me on it 
so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform, we should trade your stocks and shares. You know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. Once they are in the algorithm, and they can hit the algorithm for the S&P 500, then they are not automatically in there. There is an, a committee. There is a committee that sits four times uh, a year and decides. Sorry about that. There is a committee that sits and decides four times a year. Now, if they if they decide to put it back to a later stage, then of course it's delayed and then they still have to hit that criteria again. If, if they don't continue to hit profit, this train they won't be in. Lewisham. The next stop is Mudshoot. Even then, at any point they could say, sorry, because remember, Elon has been butting heads with the SEC quite a bit. They may say he's too much trouble, he can stay outside. Or the share price is going to cost too much for the, all these equity funds to shore up at the moment. We'll wait until some of them's picked up. This is much some of them. Give them a chance, and at the next meeting, we'll include them. But you never know. They may just say, "Okay, we're going to put them in." And why do they want to put them in? Because the ETFs have a 4.27 trillion dollar funds in the equity market. So it's a lot of money that goes in. In a way, leave your comments in the suggestion in the box below. I'm sorry about the background noise. But at least my face was covered for some of it. Mind the gap, please. This is Island.